In this video, we will factor quadratics in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, the leading coefficient, is not one, by using the graph of the related quadratic function. We can determine the factors of the given expression by determining the zeros of the related quadratic function. Where if we have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we can write this in the form of a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two, where r sub one and r sub two are the zeros of the function. The zeros are the x values that make the y or function value equal to zero, which means to find the zeros, we determine the horizontal intercepts of the graph. And remember, when graphing a quadratic function on the coordinate plane, there are three possibilities. We can have two horizontal intercepts, which gives us two distinct binomial factors, or we can have one horizontal intercept, as we see here, where the graph touches the horizontal axis and then bounces back. In this case, we have a double zero, where we let r sub one and r sub two equal the zero, which gives us two of the same binomial factors. In the third case is, there are no horizontal intercepts. In this case, there are no binomial factors of ax squared plus bx plus c. So for our example, we begin by graphing y equals 16x squared plus 24x plus nine. I've already graphed the function here on the right, and we can see how the graph touches the horizontal axis and then bounces back, and therefore we do have a double zero here at this horizontal intercept. It's unclear as to what the ordered pair would be for this point, and therefore we will calculate it using the TI-84. So we press y equals. I've already entered the function to save some time. Let's press zoom six for the standard window. We can always adjust this. Let's go ahead and adjust the horizontal axis to start at negative two and go out to positive two. This will give us a better view. So we press window, x min negative two, enter, x max positive two, enter, and then graph. This is a much better view and now we will calculate the zero at this location. So we press second trace for the calculation menu. Option two for zero is asking for the left bound. We need to move the cursor to the left side of the horizontal intercept. Let's say here, press enter. Right bound, we move to the right side. Press enter. And when it says guess, we can move the cursor closer to the horizontal intercept or we can just press enter. And notice how the calculator is doing the best that it can. It's giving us x equals negative point seven four nine 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 eight. We need to recognize this as negative point seven five, which is a fraction is negative three fourths. So going back to our graph, let's label this ordered pair negative three fourths comma zero. And again, because of the behavior of the graph, we let r sub one and r sub two equal negative three fourths. So to write the given expression in the form a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two, we know that a, the coefficient of x squared is 16, r sub one equals r sub two, which is equal to negative three fourths. So performing the substitution gives us 16 times the quantity x minus negative three fourths simplifies to x plus three fourths then we have another x minus negative three-fourths, which again gives us x plus three-fourths. Now while this could be considered factored form, we normally don't leave fractions in the binomials. Because we have a denominator of four, we can clear the fractions from the binomials by multiplying each of the binomials by four, and notice 16 is equal to four times four. So let's rewrite this as four times the quantity x plus three-fourths times four times the quantity x plus three-fourths. We still have 16 and we still have two factors of x plus three-fourths, but now we can clear the fractions by distributing four here and distributing four here. So distributing four, four times x is four x, plus four times three-fourths is 12 fourths or three, giving us four x plus three, and of course here we also get another four x plus three. Notice how we have two of the same binomial factors, which we can write as the quantity four x plus three squared. So because we have two of the same binomial factors, the original expression is a perfect square trinomial. Now let's look at the second expression. 
Again, we need to graph y equals 18x squared plus 21x minus four, which I've already graphed here. Notice how we have two distinct horizontal intercepts, which means we have two distinct zeros. But again, it's unclear as to what these ordered pairs would be, so we'll have to determine them on the graphing calculator. Let's press y equals, clear the old function, enter the new function. and press graph. And notice how we already have a nice window to determine the horizontal intercepts. Let's find the horizontal intercept of the zero on the left first. We press second trace for the calculation menu, number two for zero. Left bound, we move to the left side of the leftmost zero. Let's say here, press enter. Right bound, move to the right side, press enter. Enter again. Now here we have negative 1.3 repeating. We need to recognize that negative 1.3 repeating is equivalent to negative 4 thirds. Let's go ahead and write down this ordered pair. This ordered pair is negative 4 thirds comma zero, which means r sub one is negative 4 thirds. And now let's determine the ordered pair for this point. Going back to the calculator, again we press second trace for the calculation menu, option two for zero. It's asking for left bound. We need to move right so we're closer to the left side of this horizontal intercept. Let's say here, we press enter. Right bound, move to the right side. Press enter, enter again. Notice the zero is .16 repeating. We may not recognize this decimal, so what we can do on the calculator is go back to the home screen by pressing second mode and enter point one and then a bunch of sixes. And then we'll convert this to a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter, which gives us one sixth. So now we know the ordered pair for the second horizontal intercept is one sixth comma zero. So now we know that A is equal to 18, R sub one is equal to negative four thirds, and r sub two is equal to positive one sixth. So in the form a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two, the expression is equal to 18 times the quantity x minus negative four thirds becomes x plus four thirds. And then we have times the quantity x minus r sub two, which is x minus one sixth. Again, this could be considered factored form but we normally don't leave fractions in the binomials. So we're gonna multiply the first binomial by three and the second binomial by six, and notice that 18 is equal to three times six. So let's write this product as three times the quantity x plus four thirds times six times the quantity x minus one sixth. And again, we still have 18 here, and now we'll distribute three here to clear the fraction of four thirds and distribute six here to clear the fraction of one sixth. Three times x is three x, plus three times four thirds is 12 thirds or four. Now we distribute the six. Six times x is six x, minus six times one sixth is one. We now have the common factored form of the given quadratic expression. I hope you found this helpful.